I will be talking about a little tiny thing, a short story by Anonymous. I get this short story from a website called AmericanLiterature.com. I will be covering the plot, the character, symbolism, simile, conflict, setting, mood, themes, and message. So let's start with the plot. In this position part, we are introduced with our first character, sis Mary. From this exposition, we know that Mary likes to sew, and there is a little insect across the small stone table. After the exposition, we have the rising action. The rising action happened when Mary dropped her thimble over the little ant. She came to her mother and forgot if the little ant were still under the timber. While well, well, the ant thinks that he will die. And then climax. The climax happened when Mary woke up. Then she checked the little ant under the timber. The little tiny ant lay stiff and still. And the following action comes right after the climax. And the last, we have resolution. In the resolution, the little ant still alive. He returned to his home, and uh, Mary and her father watched the ant. He returned. He returned with. A troop of friends to take a drop of honey. Now, let's take a look at the characters. The first character is Mary. She is a child who is curious about something, and in my opinion, she is protagonist. Why protagonist? Because it's too much if we call her as antagonist. Because She's just a child who is curious about a small thing, like what happens if the egg is under the timber. The second is the little egg. He has little horns on his head and he has small legs as beautiful as a racing horse and definitely he is protagonist. And the last is father. He is Mary's father and he is protagonist because he didn't scold his daughter but advised Mary if what she did was wrong and and in my opinion he is a wise person. Next is point of view. This short story uses third person point of view. The narrator is pronounced he, she, or uh, third pronouns. And the next is setting. The first is setting place. We have garden and Mary's home. And second is setting time. We have night and morning. The narrator is sentenced to sunshine for symbolize the morning after the setting we have conflict we have a uh, internal conflict mm, ashamed feeling Mary felt ashamed for her attitude towards the little ant and now we have symbolism first is garden garden is symbolized Paradise of uh, heaven. Second is dark prison. It is symbolize the end when he trapped under the timber. Uh, because under the timber is dark like prison. Third is fine pillars. It is symbolize and house. Uh, the magnificent and house is like a beautiful place and fourth is kissing it is symbolized a friendship 
fellowship and intimacy. In this story, in this story symbolize uh, friendship and kinship between the ends. We move to mood. Uh, first, we have pessimistic, and this mood happen when the little ant feel hopeless. Uh, he think he will die. And second is insecure. This mood happen when the little ant is under the timber. The third is sentimental and melancholy. This mood happen when Mary worrying about the little ant. Next is simile. Simile is comparing something you like or as. First is little perfect legs bending as beautifully as those of a race horse. It is comparing the little as legs with a race horse. Second is he was in quiet as big of fright as if he were an elephant. It is comparing the little and with the elephant. Third is handkerchief was a soak as if somebody had been crying very much. It is comparing the soak handkerchief with somebody had been crying very much. Fourth is they might all live together like little people in a little town. It is comparing ants life with people's life. Now we move to two themes. Um, I get two themes for from this short story. First is being kind uh, and Second is be kind to all creatures in this earth. Uh, next is message. Uh, the message that I get from this short story is don't be unkind. Next is agree or disagree with the author. Mm, I agree with the author, especially with the message that given by the author at the end of the story. Mm, that message expressed through through Mary's father. The message is. Don't be unkind to any small thing that is kinder than you. Or we can say that we human should be kind to all creatures in this world, in this earth. a creature around you that's it last but not least look at the quotes on your screen treat everyone with politeness and kindness not because they are nice but because you this quote from Priti Bennett's book the title is the light in the heart I will make connecting between the quote and the short story more, pre- more precisely the quote with the themes and the message. But of them teach us to be kind to anyone and anything because being kind is very noble in the eyes of God and his people. By being kind certainly good things will come to your way. So, don't forget to be kind whenever and wherever you are. So, that's all for me. Thanks for your attention and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.